So I'm in the middle of stitching together the two haiku videos because I had a little bit of a blue screen there in the middle. Um, got to the what I felt was the end of that, and then I remembered. Wait a second, this does seem like an educational game, but like a Fisher Price baby's first cybersecurity game kind of a thing, right? Like for little kids, it would be a good game. Little kids who don't, you know, understand Linux, but you know, maybe you want to start them young, uh, that kind of a thing. And I mean, not that I would be teaching little kids to use John and Hydra and stuff. That's but in any event. <laughs> The only realm in which it would be educational would be for, for very, very young learners. And then I remembered, wait a second, didn't somebody mention something about a LinkedIn profile thing? Or like a paid subscription service? I didn't play long enough to get to any mention of that, but uh, I wanted to look into it. I, I haven't yet, but I'm really curious to see if they have so much faith in their game. They think that that piece of shit that I just played <coughs> is good enough to to put on your cv you know like you you list it out you know you list it out you've got uh you know ccna cissp ceh or whatever and then right right at the bottom right after that got to the end of haiku world of haiku i'm, I'm curious if that's what they really think so let's see what we got here advance your cybersecurity career go haiku pro whether you're a current or aspiring cybersecurity professional, IQ Pro, Pro will take your skills to the next level without the time, expense, and unreality of conventional training. What are you talking about? Yeah, learning things takes time. And I agree that I have a problem with how expensive, like, cybersecurity as an industry has exploded because we need more cybersecurity professionals all over the world, the United States and abroad. We need more cybersecurity professionals. And I, as much as anyone else, when I look around at the landscape of cottage industries that have propped up around that, it is disheartening. All right. Because a lot of the money and effort in the realm of cybersecurity hasn't been going to actually making better cybersecurity professionals. And it sure as shit hasn't been going into making cybersecurity better. Um, like, making us more secure by and large we are and in some ways it has but i really get disheartened at the cottage industries that have prop, uh, popped up around certifications and training and that kind of a thing where everyone there it seems there's no end to the snake oil salesmen who say that you know i've got the answer and this will get you the competency you need and so on and so forth um because it's it's bullshit for the most part the truth is, is that if you want to learn, the best way to learn is to put in the effort. You're not going to find a magic pill that's going to be like, I'm going to take a weekend seminar and I'm going to know everything there is to know. Because cybersecurity is as much about a mindset as it is about a skill set. So it takes time to get to get there. Um, so yeah, I don't like the expense either. I don't see how you can get around the time. you got to put the time in in order to do the learning. Uh, and unreality of conventional training. I don't know what the fuck that's even supposed to mean. Uh, everything about Haiku Pro is 100% real from our full network training grounds with multiple servers to our certification paths, patented scoring system, and unique job connect service. Activate a better cyber security go. Okay, gotcha. So, I mean, none of that sounds like at all outside the realm of this kind of shit that I see from, you know, all these people who claim to have the best training answer. Um, they didn't mention anything about the game, but let's see what we get. Starter, start cybersecurity training for free. Access to range play 30 minutes a day. You're not going to get very far on 30 minutes a day. I don't care what you're doing. 30 minutes a day is not going to get you very far. Um, I mean, it's better to do a little bit every day than it is to do a lot once in a while. You'll get more out of it. But, um, I mean, 30 minutes a day, I don't know. I, I burn that just staring off into space, to be honest with you. <laughs> View all ranges, read reviews, global leaderboard ranking. Personalized dashboard, skills, matrix, stats. Uh, okay, so there is some kind of gamification going on here, but they haven't mentioned World of IQ yet. Recommended. Upgrade to premium. Full access. Blah, 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 blah. Basic access. I don't like when they do this. Here's our more expensive option. And then there's also this one, which is the one that you actually really need. Earn and share achievements on LinkedIn. So you do need to subscribe to put the things up on LinkedIn. It's weird. 
Uh, all right. It jumped us to the bottom of the page, but the this, okay. This this is this is this is what shitty design looks like. There's here's the top of the page. We're above the fold. Here is a button to go pro. It jumps you all the way to the bottom of their page. So all of this shit is this just not important? Do I just not care about any of this? Or is this just the dummy button where it's just like, if they're dumb enough to click on it and pay us right away, then they don't need to read all this other shit. Let's see. Let's see what it says. We're as real as it gets. Develop intense cybersecurity skills on our open world series of networks. Learn valuable cybersecurity skills. Get seriously certified in cybersecurity. Complete high crew. I keep saying, I keep saying high crew. Complete Haiku Pro ranges, and you'll master skills needed for cybersecurity certifications, including CEH and the OC, OSCP. It doesn't say that you can earn either of these because they wouldn't be able to offer that because they don't administer either of these certifications. So they must be training paths to learn the skills that they believe will put you on the path to earning those. You're still going to have to pay for your certification process, and you're still going to have to do your maintenance and everything. So this is what? A class? Acquire real, the real offensive, defensive, and forensic cybersecurity skills employers are dying for. Our patented scoring engine lets you install malware, deface websites, change system parameters instead of just getting root, then cutting and pasting the flag, and much more. Okay, these are all offensive skills. They're not even skills. These are all offensive topics. None of them are defensive, and certainly none of them are forensic. And also, none of them are skills. Again, they're just topics. They're offensive security topics. Forget fake training. Unlike other cybersecurity ranges or hacking simulators, ours simulates the real-world challenges today's cybersecurity pros face every day. Dark web infiltration, forensic challenge, real-time cyber defense challenges, buffer overflows. Don't limit yourself to the single target boxes others offer. With Haiku Pro, you'll work on full networks with multiple servers. Plus, our patented scoring engine allows for more than simple cutting and pasting of a flag. We detect changes you've made to the range and score you accordingly. Sign up and see how you measure up. Okay. I, I don't see how what they're offering is necessarily better. They're, they're heavily implying that traditional capture the flag paradigms let's say methodologies are less effective but they're not really saying why they're less effective or how what they're doing is really any better or different i i, I agree that the capture the flag paradigm has its faults but i also disagree that it's not effective especially without anything to back it up all right, content management system gone wrong. So these are different ranges, missions, lessons. They're all offensive. They're all offensive. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, Silk Road Part 1, you're a hacktivist whose family has been harmed by the drugs sold in the Run by Cyber Terrorism or Agenda 21. Okay, so th this is... Agenda 21 is one of the characters in the game. This is not... Okay. Oh my god. I have a huge problem with this. Okay. They're talking about offensive, defensive, and forensic stuff. They're talking about forensic challenges and stuff. All of these missions are offensive. And look at this one right here. This is the first one in their list. The first mission in their list says, you're a hacktivist whose family has been harmed by drugs. You're going to deface a website. This is illegal. This, this is the fucking problem with so much training these days. You need to teach. If you're going to teach people how to do dangerous shit, you got to teach them how to be responsible too. This is the fucking equivalent of taking hunter safety class and then like you you read the manual and then you go in on the first day and it's like, "Okay, we're going to do some CQC here, okay? We're going to train you how to use a gun by doing a fucking no-knock warrant breach simulation." Like this is fucking irresponsible. <sighs> 
This is the opposite of creating good cybersecurity professionals. This is creating dangerous people who overestimate their skills and fuck things up when they could just... Mm, exploit the known vulnerabilities. Okay, so now you're exploiting vulnerabilities. It's also, where is the ethics? Find and exploit the vulnerability. This is just broke dick offensive security training. And there's so many other better options out there. Exploit the CDs. Okay. Level up in your community. Meet other cyber pros from around the world. Collaborate challenges and discover new skills and techniques. Our leaderboard shows how you can pair with others and provides motivation to keep training. It's guaranteed fun. Uh, again, so many other products have a gamified system like this. I, I, uh, whatever. I'm, I don't have a problem with that so much, but connect to cybersecurity jobs. You're, the only skills you're going to learn is, is maybe some offensive security skills, but from what I learned from World of Haiku, uh, you're not even going to learn that. Uh, win at your end game right from the start. Haiku Pro Job Connect matches you with real jobs that align to the skills you developed in both Haiku Pro and World of Haiku. Okay, so there's two actually two products. World of Haiku, Haiku was the game that we played. That won't teach you anything. Haiku Pro is like their online training platform, similar to other similar online training platforms. Um, Bleed it. I don't. Learn about premium access. Let's check that out next. Haiku cyber, okay, the Haiku Cybersecurity Career Training System. All right. They're connecting the dots for us. So the game, World of Haiku, is the first of its kind RPG game. It's not an RPG game that teaches you real-world cybersecurity skills. It doesn't teach you real-world cybersecurity skills. Who it's for. If you're interested in cybersecurity, you want to start uh, learning real skills, enjoy gaming, and have zero cybersecurity experience. Okay. Fair enough. Haiku Pro provides an open-world series of cloud-based networks where trainees can practice their skills on real computer networks. Who it's for. You have completed World of Haiku and want to keep learning. You have cybersecurity skills and want to advance them and earn certifications. I do, I doubt that. Uh, nothing I've seen so far at all gives me any confidence in that. Job Connect, a premium feature and can match your real jobs. Okay, you're ready to become a cybersecurity professional. You want tailored opportunities based on your skill set, which is going to be the skill set of whatever they provide you because this is the training pass they're offering. Mm. With... <laughs> <laughs> uh, haiku skills with Z T M resume generator and then with the haiku skills <laughs> and it's like I don't I don't have any faith in your resume generator if your fucking elements are showing on your page dude oh my god you could not this is like a fucking parody it's a parody this has to be a joke right this is a this is a gag site if it is this is the <laughs> i fell for it uh, i uh, okay i fell for it this is a joke it's a joke okay i gotcha i you know normally you got to get up pretty early in the morning but i got this one hook line and sinker um did you know there are currently 465,000 open cybersecurity jobs in the united states no there's more than that there's a lot more than that the average salary of a cybersecurity professional is $105,000. Uh, it's not that either. They didn't even do their research on that. Uh, hack your way to success. Build your cybersecurity career today. You can't, by the way, hack your way to success. That's not how you get anywhere in the field of cybersecurity. It's just not. It's a skill set, and uh, it's one of the most congested skill sets of the field, uh, which, you know, like I said, there's not enough cybersecurity professionals there's definitely room for more but i'm just saying that if you want if you want it to be a career that's a hard way to earn your living in in relative terms here cyber security uh, cyber center of excellence ccoe selected the haiku pro cybersecurity training tool for the san diego regional cyber lab because of its customizability and real world cybersecurity simulations um what is the san diego regional cyber lab here we go san diego cyber center of excellence because if uh, it, th that decision here smacks to me of uh, somebody got duped by marketing or maybe even graft uh, or something like, you know, I'm friends with somebody who's on the board or, or something like that, because I can't imagine anyone looking at this and taking it seriously. I really can't. 
Uh, Haiku Pro is designed by hackers for hackers and is the cybersecurity equivalent of a flight simulator where users of all levels can develop real world skills in a gamified virtual environment. Uh, in addition, their Job Connect feature helps employers. Uh, yeah. Is this a quote from Lisa? It seems like it. I don't know, Lisa. I'm afraid. Never had the pleasure. And then we're back to here. Okay, let's check out who's Lisa Easterly. She didn't plan on going into cybersecurity, but now she's here. Okay. Uh, Lisa Easterly planned a career in tech. She started a career in finance, then moved into corporate law and economic development. But when a report about cybersecurity in San Diego highlighted a big problem, she found herself on a new career path. It's kind of a funny story. It's kind of serendipitous because I'm not a cyber professional by trade. Okay, well then, uh, you know, not 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 to impugn uh, uh, Lisa or her credentials or position or anything. Certainly not. Uh, but that does explain why she backed Haiku Pro because uh, anybody with a background in cybersecurity or or anything would would have, it's ob, it's an obvious pass it's an obvious pass um so i'm guessing you know yeah just kind of got duped by the uh by the sales people they can be very persistent and they can be very convincing uh at times but uh yep sorry lisa you made a bad call haiku is a haiku is a bad product i can i can tell you already and that just the get started page just took me right down to the bottom of the hey give us money button okay the cyber center for excellence according to this is a non-profit economic development engine that promotes cybersecurity development in the region okay uh and how are they doing Uh, can you tell me more about the programs you offer? Nonprofit dedicated to the cybersecurity workforce. So, okay, so okay, it seems like they're legit, or at least trying to to offer some good service to the community. That's good. I'm all for that. This isn't going to help you do it, though. This is a, this is a fucking pyramid scheme for cybersecurity people, and that also just took me to the fucking give us money button. It's one of the things I did when I was a uh, uh, in cybersecurity. For a while, I had to do uh, security reviews for products like this, and I go out to the page and you know check their certification status and their their um, white papers and their policies that they had up, like their privacy policy and so on. Um, and uh, one of the things that I would uh, always look for is little tricks and hints that show that they're fly by night snake oil salesmen. And uh, the the every button leading to the gimme money money section that's uh, that's a red flag. Uh, really trying to put that sizzle up there. Let's check their patent system and method for cyber training. Since they were kind enough to put the patent up for us, we'll look them up. Uh, Eric Basu, Francis Kong, Edmund, Robert Riley Jr., and Blair Ferguson Jr. A system and method for facilitating various forms of cyber training. In some embodiments, the system and method enable the creation and deployment of cyber ranges. Such a cyber range can simulate one or more network environments if one or more real or hypothetical organizations for various network software and system hardware components. Okay. Um... This, these documents are shit. I can't fucking... I can't barely see anything. I gotta go back, goddammit. Ugh. Pop it out. This is ridiculous. No, not that one. Go back one. Pop that out. So... Web portal... Cloud services, hot pool, warm pool, cool pool, and then haiku range. Uh, rotate, rotate, rotate. No, God, oh my God. Cannot rotate. I got to rotate my head here. 
portal control. There's their interface, cloud formation, that's their range, security and validation, admin reviewer, security scanner, validator, scoring engine, Haiku integrated apps, Haiku mobile, Haiku VR, Vulcan range builder. User, okay, here we go. This might be useful. Oh, it's a ping. That's why I can't rotate it. So the user logs in, they register, intro storyline, billing option, of course. Um, this is just a flowchart for their fucking site. It's just as this is just a flowchart for their, their money making scheme. Uh, what are you? Club portal continued. Oh god, this is impossible. Um, that's uh, not worth it. Okay, yeah, it is. All right, there we go. All right. Web portal command result return command get over this these documents are they you have to try to get them to look this bad look look at how fuzzy these are this is just a flow this is just a data flow chart at server intro to database user data priv keys this is just a data flow chart where is the proprietary anything i don't even know what that's supposed to signify that's this is just meaningless user screen login sign up okay this is again just I could, okay this is more of that These are just system components. And that's the last document. How did they get a patent on this? There's nothing proprietary about this. There doesn't seem to be anything patentable about it. They have... Are this... Okay, I mean, they have a flowchart for their site. They have diagrams for their how they're going to make money. And they have lists of system components... And then they have these vastly abstract, this is how it works. This is literally, look, look at this. Where are you? Look at this. It's a web portal and then just cloud services. And cloud services is comprised of these illusory pools of assets that are known as haiku ranges. And that's never explained. Where's the actual, yeah, here we go. Maybe it's explained in the patent. I mean, it should be. Haiku Inc. Inventors. Eric Basu, Francis Kong. Okay, we're going to look those guys up because I don't know any of their names. Um, nope. Their patent application contains no details. It is... Oh, here we go. System and method for cyber training. This application claims for background cyber attacks and cyber threats include these cyber attacks and need to increase the need for cybersecurity systems. Current training methods are inadequate to provide necessary training to safeguards and this for other disadvantage. Conventional systems range building tools do not typically attract the average user by promoting an approachable system, although some efforts to train resources. Okay. Accordingly, there's a need for system and methods. Okay. Brief description of the drawings. Okay. Uh, figure one is a top level system diagram that illustrates the exemplary general architecture of the view system. Okay. Um, that's that. Figure two, a flow chart showing exemplary data flow. Okay. That's right. Top level diagrams is an exemplary pool functionality. Detailed description. According to various embodiment systems and methods are disclosed for facilitating various forms of cyber training. 
Such systems and methods can include ones uh, in which cyber ranges can be created and deployed. A cyber range is just like a virtual network. That's what it looks like. The simulation of the network environments of one or more real or hypothetical organizations is a virtual network. These are already out there. It, I mean, their their pool scheme here seems to make, or in some fashion suggest, that they're just virtual networks that are module in some fashion, but virtual appliances by definition are already fairly modular. I, I, I don't see anything that's really proprietary here. I guess maybe maybe a novel collection of existing technologies. That's what it seems like. Um, so I, I'm sorry, but if I were in a position to make a decision on this, I'd definitely pass. I, I don't see anything here that would be worth the, the investment at all. Uh, of course, they're a Delaware corporation. No offense to Delaware, uh, but as I said in my experience with reviewing products like this, Delaware is the most business friendly of all states in terms of, um, well, in terms of litigation. So. Service is not intended for children under 13. So there's our confirmation that this learning tool is not for children. If it were for children, it would make sense. And it might even be kind of good. Like a, 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 a Linux slash cybersecurity learning tool for very young learners, you know, is something that would be valid and valuable. Right? We, we need to start teaching kids technology at younger ages. They're certainly capable of more than we're doing right now. Um, and learning things like how John the Ripper works and Hydra works might help them to understand why having unique, strong passwords is so important, right? But this is apparently not for children under 13, and I wouldn't put it in front of anyone older than 13 because it's fucking insulting to their intelligence. It certainly felt insulting to mine. Information we collect about you... Information you directly provide to us. Information we collect through automatic data collection methods. So they are doing data mining. What are you going to do with it? Third party use of how, how we use your information. Um, provide you with notices. Carry out our obligations and enforce rights arising under the terms of use to notify. Uh, there it is. The magic word. We do data mining and we will use it for any other purpose with your consent. And you're consenting by using the service. We may also use your information to contact you about our own third parties, goodies, goods, sorry, not goodies, goods and services uh, uh, interest you. So there's another uh, magic sentence right there. We will also give your information to anybody who asks for it so that we can sell you things. Um, disclosure of your information. Subsidies and affiliates. Yep. So your data will be sold and you will be on some mailing lists. We do not control third parties' collection or use your uh, information, so we're not responsible for the information we provide to other people or for other information that they may get. You can opt out of receiving targeted ads from members of the network about its website, blah, 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 California residents because of CCPA. Uh, CCPA applies to for-profit businesses that do business in California and meet the following. Um, are you suggesting that you don't meet these requirements. I mean, you are based in Delaware and your revenue is probably not over 25 million. So you're just basically saying California residents, if you opt into our service, you're shit out of luck. You can't sue us because we don't meet those criteria. We take, oh, and I love this also when it comes to terms of services, we take commercially reasonable steps. I always saw that and I always hated it. World of Haiku, you are billing yourself as a cybersecurity educational tool. You, above all others, have a responsibility to security. Don't give us that commercially reasonable steps shit. Okay? Commercially reasonable essentially means if we can afford it, we will protect you. Guess what? No business can afford it because that doesn't contribute to the business's bottom line. It costs them money to do security without making them any money. So why would they do it unless it will cost them money not to do it? Unfortunately, the transmission of information via the internet is not completely secure. Although we do our best to protect your personal information, put your money where your mouth is. Where's the fucking, where's your policies? 
We cannot guarantee the security of your personal information transmitted to this service. Any transmission of personal information is at your own risk. We are not responsible for circumvention of any privacy settings or security measures contained on the service. So you're not even responsible if you do something and fail. Love to see it. Love to see it. Here's our TOS. And this is the part where it's going to be like using the service means that, you know, we could basically do what we want. Well, okay. So, but then really and their knowledge, <laughs> their fucking knowledge base is broken. Oh, there we go. All right. So, uh, but no, I'm really curious. Like I've seen world of haiku. It sucks. What are they actually offering you with the haiku pro? Like, what are they actually offering you? Access to a pool of virtual networks? Is that it? Can I pay with cryptocurrency? This is for hacksters, after all. Uh, in short, not at this time. Keep your crypto in your wallet, boys. How do I get a backer roll? Why did you build World of Haiku? I'm really wondering that. I'm really curious about that. We really wanted to create a more accessible and enjoyable way to learn and overcome some of the drawbacks of traditional training. You failed. We studied how video games teach us drop shots, making potions, and all the other skills we've learned. Ha 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 ha, it's funny. And use that same process to teach skills that you can actually use in the real... No, you're, you're not. You're just not. Populate your haiku skills. I <laughs> haiku skills, boys. <laughs> skills. Uh, okay, what else? Oh, that's it. Okay, let's go to Haiku Pro. When is World of Haiku launching? What does it say? Okay, so it says that it is ready. How do I find and zip my world haiku? How do I reset game data with the minimum requirements? Whatever happened to what happened to Haiku Cyber Range? Uh, first was people who love the idea of a game that teaches cybersecurity skills. I I love it. I love the idea of a game that teaches cybersecurity skills. That's why I do this on this channel. It's just that you didn't do it. Okay, and now what's Haiku Pro? What do we get? What is the difference between World of Haiku and Haiku Pro? Okay. Great question. The World of Haiku is a video game that teaches basic command line Linux and offensive cybersecurity skills and tools. If you have no experience in cybersecurity or working at Linux command line, you should start with the World of Haiku before attempting a Haiku Pro. The World of Haiku can be purchased on Steam for a one-time charge. Haiku Pro, as the name suggests, aimed at cybersecurity professionals, aspiring cybersecurity, and uh, it's a tool base with three options, a limited free version, a basic paid version, a premium paid version with more features than the basic. Okay, so I use some experience with using Kali Linux. There are hints. Okay, uh, so it's World of Haiku, but different. Okay, there's a limited free version. We're gonna do this. Oh. It's not out yet. When will Haiku Pro be released? Currently, really? Okay. I'm making a promise right now. I am going to keep up with this. Why are they taking money if it's not released yet? How are they charging people $18 a month for a service that's not available yet? Okay, they're not. Just says coming soon. Okay. I'm making a promise right now. I'm going to keep my eyes open for the release of Haiku Pro. And I'm going to review it on this channel, just like I did World of Haiku, to see if it's any better. If it does anything that they say it's doing. It might be. You know, the system that they have here is not at all different from existing cybersecurity training grounds. Um, you know, where you can, you can have even procedurally generated virtual appliances to attack. And they're promising that what they're doing will be even better. Maybe they do. I don't know. 
uh, it's possible. And if they do, I certainly want to know about it. I would love to be able to use, I, I, I use hack the box and try hack me and, you know, various other well-known training programs or, um, or training systems out there, uh, for students all the time right now, especially in my offensive security class, because, you know, manning your own vulnerable environment is such a huge pain in the ass. So if they're doing that, but better, yeah, I want to know about it. So I, I'm going to keep my eyes open and I'm, I'm going to review this when it comes out in, aren't we in Q3 now? I thought we were, or is that starting in September? Uh, uh, oh, July to September. Okay. July 1st to September. Okay. So we, we are in Q3, but we're not out of Q3 yet. So it might be coming up. So I'll keep my eyes open and I'll do one other video on it when this happens. And while part two of world of haiku is rendering, I'm going to put this one up on the site. <laughs> I'm actually going to put this as a, a part one review of haiku pro. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>